Hi guys, I've done a little tutorial for you on a 3D rose stone. So you just make your 3D roses as normal and I'm dipping into two colours here so that the rose looks like it has more detail in it. So you're just patting it out gently. I'm adding in a small piece of wire here just to roll the rose up onto because when I come to the later part of this tutorial, you need to be able to have something to hold on to to dip your um, rose into builder gel. So I just find it easier this way. So once you've got the piece of wire to stick, just remove the petal from the backing paper and roll it around the wire. I do go out of shot here a little bit, so I apologize for that, but I am just twisting it around until I'm happy with the shape of it. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go on to making petals. So again, dip it into the two colours and gently pat it out until you get the shape that you require. Now, I make a few petals at the same time, but if you're just trying this out for the first time, you can just do one petal at a time until you get the hang of it. So just add on all the petals one at a time until I'm happy with the shape and this is what it looks like so far. So I'll continue to make more petals again. And you just keep adding the petals on until you're happy with the size of your rose. And you don't want it to be too big for these stones you don't want them coming out for the nails too much. And when you're adding the petals on, you just lift them up from the back in paper and place them on gently. Sometimes I use um a little bit of acrylic liquid just to run round the, the rose so that the petals stick better. So this is the size that I'm happy with. And now I'm just adding on a base coat in gel. And once that's done, I'll cure it in the lamp. So now I'm going in with my builder gel and I'm using a dot and tool gear. So I just scooped up quite a big bead of the gel and I'm just placing it on. Now you want to make sure that you get into all the creases of the rose. And take your time doing this because I actually got air bubbles in mine and you can see it on the rose when it's finished. So that's the first coat on, so I've cured it, and now I'm just dipping it in to the builder gel and swirling it round. Now I do hold it upside down before I put it in the lamp. So I gave us a good few coats of the builder gel before um, going in with my top coat here. And I've removed the wire from the back and I'm just using my e-file to soften the back of it and make it flatter. So once I've done that, I'll go in with a bead of acrylic just to hold the stone onto the nail. And then I use um, Chiara Sky base coat to add on the gems. And that's the finished rose. I hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching.